Hello all, this is Kira, here with an additional tutorial video. I don't know if this falls under extras as much, but, so, maybe you saw the anime, maybe you got into the game for another reason, but you started the game, finished the tutorials, what do you do now? Well, you got 50 free shards from the game, because Colopo can be nice like that. If you want, you could spend them in the gacha right here, try and solo them, because at, at this point, well, before, the gachas would sometimes have a guaranteed 4 star if you did a full 10 plus 1 pull. Nowadays they have a point system, and so your luck is the same whether you do a 10 plus 1 pull or just single pulls. So if you really feel up to it, you can feel free to solo them, or you can wait until you have a full 250 to do a 10 plus 1. It's whatever you want. You can choose to do that. You can choose to keep playing on in the normal stages. Um, although I'd suggest switching to easy after a while, especially if you're trying to save up for later, because normal stages, depending on maybe from the free gotcha pull that the game does for you, getting maybe you got a four star. A lot of those four stars in that gotcha that the game has you pull out of aren't that great. So. Even if that's the case, you may want to just play on easy for the time being. Uh, but if you did only get like a 2 or 3 star, eventually normal stages will become a little bit hard for you, and hard stages will eventually be pretty hard for you. <laughs> or will definitely be pretty hard for you, sorry. Uh, so you can do that. I definitely recommend clicking this, like, jiggling button right here. And looking through all these, these are all like little tutorial videos. On what you have to do. For example, these are all just little tutorials. They show you a bunch of things. They tell you about how if you click this button right here, well, it actually will be about right there in the battle stages. It'll change to possibly different forms of attacks or it'll be infinite so that you won't have a special attack come up. Um, now it's just talking about combos and how there's the different types of rhythms that weapons have. <laughs> Ignore that. Uh, <laughs> this just shows you sword and spear, hammer, just how the hammer works. Shows you how like guns and rods works and talks about how you have to flick to reload. Which I will, I am doing videos on the different weapon types, and I will go more into the different weapons in those videos. Talks about the battle items. Shows you different Irosu and their weaknesses. This is an old chart, technically, since they're only showing from the original five weapons. But that's fine. <laughs> and here you can watch various movies. I think it checks off. And for looking at all those, okay, ignore these for now. Uh, for looking at all those, you get an extra gem. These three were from the story and the stage that the game has you played beforehand. So collect all those. And look, you're up to 60 already. <laughs> I will say, for actually quite a while after you start, it's very easy and very quick to get up to 250 shards. So honestly, for your first pull, you might as well save up that much. Now, stage is easy enough on normal. Let's keep playing. I did not intend to get a 2-star, and that girl would be better to be pl to play this stage with, but it's fine. Let's just play. Because I definitely would recommend continuing to battle. Now the game is telling me about doing auto, which personally, well, I'll show it, but just know that I don't recommend it for much stages after this first part of the story because eventually it's not going to be worth it. Because <laughs> the way auto works is that it doesn't really do a combo, your characters will just kind of plow through enemies and eventually that will get you killed. So I definitely wouldn't recommend it later on, early on. It should be fine. Um, 
But if a stage requires you to get a certain combo, note that the note the auto does not do combos. It basically just does single attacks. So let's see. But when you use auto, I'll show you you can. Set it to, like, if you click it again, you turn it off. If you click it again, it goes basically normal speed, and if you click it again, it goes twice as fast. And the theme song for the game kicks in. <laughs> With the other movies on your team going across the bottoms. But because I'm afraid of copyright, we're going to turn that off. <laughs> the stage should be close to over anyways. that stage to get under the 60 seconds, but for now I'm going to just ignore it. Then we can set up the story part, which I will leave the link, I'll leave a couple links down in the description where you can find these translated. Because there are a couple tumblers to do it. One of them has most of the first arc translated, though hasn't been active recently. And another one has bits of currently all four arcs translated. Both are very good. I definitely recommend looking at those. So I'll leave those down at the bottom, and I'll skip this for now. You always get three gems for stories, doesn't matter what stage you're playing on. Turn auto off. Continue going through these stages. This is basically starting Battle Girl High School for Dummies. Uh, <laughs> not to be rude. <laughs> but I figured I decided to start a second account, so I might as well take advantage of the fact that I'll have a starting account. So after you get a certain amount of combo, which you can tell down there is 8, so after 16, the same thing will pop up and that is how you activate your special move. Now with this one star Michi, as you can see, the special move is a quick turnaround right there. I'll show you. It's a super move. Okay, <laughs> real quick combo there. Her combo is a big hammer slam with electricity, because why not? And with Haruka, although I probably won't get to show it off here. No, I won't. In the next stage, perhaps. And then if I continue, <laughs> so, oh, by the way, if you tap this, you can see, well, first it'll show like this. It'll show the stage name, which unfortunately I can't really read that well, and it'll show you the difficulty. It's only a two. Pretty low. They go up to, like, 
about 300. Some stages are above that, but 300 is generally the max <laughs> for a lot of stages, and that's really hard. <laughs> Uh, if you click it once, you'll get you'll see the goals for the stage or the requirements to get an S clear. The first one is clear it in, for this particular stage. It does change depending on the stage. The first one for this stage is clear it without anybody dying. Pretty easy. Uh, the second one is clear it under 120 seconds, and the bottom one is clear it under 60 seconds. So basically, do S clear. You need to clear it under a minute since obviously you'll pass the clear it under 100 seconds one by doing that. So, let's go again. Also, I guess I could mention that, I could have mentioned that on the bottom there, alongside with auto play. There are also things to, uh, I believe, increase the chance by two times for you to get money, experience, the green megaphones, and treasure. You definitely want to have those on, though. Um, there's a particular stage 2-5 that the treasure one would be particularly useful since there's only one enemy in that stage, but otherwise it's fine. Oh, right, I was going to show off how this special move. So, the good main one is to Mark's special move is to heal herself. Pretty nice, but given that she's a long range weapon, it's not that likely that she'd get her baby things. <laughs> uh, different, even like the other one stars and other rod cards will have different special moves, and four stars will have more unique special moves. Oh, so we'll get into that when we get an actual four star. <laughs> well, you know what? I may actually use this video for more tutorial clips. <laughs> or this accounting. But for now, I just want to try to get to something else. I'm wondering why I keep using Miki, it's just because swords did faster than hammer, so should hopefully let me get through the stage a little faster. Go! Everyone's leveling up. Cards are a little too weak to finish that stage in under a minute, unfortunately, but... Oh, and by the way, the timer for the stages, which I was counting for, will stop during special moves. But I believe... I'm not 100% sure, and if this isn't the case, we'll, I'll, we'll find out. But I believe after finishing this story, something else might unlock for you again, like before. I'll have links to translate these below, but just to avoid taking up time, I'm going to skip these for now. <laughs> Those outfits are not available. <sighs> yes. So after you finish the first part of... Well, the first chapter or episode of, like, part one of arc one, you now have the ability to go to the events page. Now, in this page, I definitely recommend playing this. Um, not that stage so much because that was a little harder, but like... Let's move over. So... These are all tutorials on different weapon types. Like, here we have Sword Spear. Again, what I advocated in my first weapon tutorial video. Um, definitely recommend going through these. They're pretty easy stages. You get to use a guest party member. Definitely worth it. Um, and it'll let you practice using, like for example in this one, sword, spear, and hammer. Um, way this one you can practice using rod and gun, which are a little bit harder. I definitely might practice 
recommend practicing those. Um, you can also practice the new weapons that were added when R2 um, got put in the game, which are Blade Cannon and Twin Bullet. Very good weapons. Specific to the characters of that arc, although all the cards can have these weapons now, so you might want to practice it anyways even before you get to R2. And I definitely do recommend playing the stages in order. Like, if you're... I... If you're an anime fan, for example, and you're wondering where Shiho and Kanon are, they first appear in R2. You wonder where Sadone is, she doesn't join your team until arc, the end of arc 1. You're wondering where Misaki is, she doesn't get into the story until arc 4. But I would recommend playing the arcs in order, just because um, that'll get you better used to the game. Again, I, although I do recommend playing all of these, even the new Claw Fang one, which is Misaki's weapon, just because I'm sure now that it's managed in the game, more girls will start having this weapon eventually. May just be Misaki one for a little bit, but probably in a future set, some other girls will start having it. I would be surprised if Sadone was the first, if I'm being honest, because they seem to be building up the connection between those two, but I'll get into that later. This stage, also very helpful, but I would probably wait a little bit to play it, is will help you with larger types of the Irosu, like you have the big dragon, the big... those things. <laughs> um, this one... I'm not entirely sure what this one is, to be honest. But I'm sure it's still helpful. Uh, <laughs> And this one gets a little bit harder, so I would almost not wait to maybe do this until you've gotten better at the game. Or go for it if you want to. Just know that it might get a little hard at the point. Always remember to collect your presents. So now, if I go back, another stage I recommend, and the game is recommending too, are these two. This. Um, anime special stages and these Tanabata stages. Or they may just be festival stages, I'm not entirely sure. But like, um, as you can see, this Urana one is only here for a day. So, uh, depending on when you see this, get it done quickly. Uh, <laughs> but the battles in both of these are fairly easy from what I remember. In this one for sure. Um, as you can see, they're all level 1 so far, and you get some pretty good things, like for example... Uh, you get scouting- I know you get scouting to get in here and in here, and this one gets you some- I- If I remember correctly, this one gets you some presents? I'm gonna be honest, I don't totally remember. But you find time to do this. Um, this one would also be- Definitely recommend it. Again, 21, not that bad. You might want to do a few more uh, regular stages first, just so you're more used to the battles, but it's still pretty easy. This is just a few stories that I believe you do get gems from, so I definitely recommend that. Um, This is also a bunch of stories, 18 in fact, and you get three shards for reading all of them. So, what would 18 by three? That's 54 shards, I believe, if I'm multiplying that correctly. <laughs> yes, yes, that is it, right. So you get 54 shards just from reading all these, and you can even just skip through them if you don't want to read them. Uh... Then this is kind of the main event that's going on, and regular events are a little bit more difficult than normal stages, so I would definitely try and at least finish the first part of arc 1, like the first set of stages, it's only 4, before even like attempting this, because it's going to get a little difficult pretty, pretty quickly. In fact, I'd wait until you have a 4 star, but again, um, aside from this, note that there are 1, 2, 
three, four, five, and six things that you can get a ton of shards from just right off the bat. Um, once you get a little bit, once you get past this, and once you have a few better cards, this would also be good. Sword training. The battles will get increasingly harder, but it will help you like get better using the weapon. And then that changes out day by day. Um, then EXP, which I think is on a rotation with a few other ones. So tomorrow it might be more green megaphones or more coins. I'm not sure which, to be honest. Um, but this will get you more of the EXP balls, which, uh, no, good. Raisin Girls EXP. Uh, as for the schedule, it's the wrong one, sorry. <laughs> this one, here. You look at this. Um, so this shows you the schedule, so... And it will change depending on your time zone, but I'm in Pacific Standard Time. So, Japan is 16 hours ahead of us, which pretty much means that they're a day ahead of us. So, like, well, it's, so long, it's not Sunday anymore, but, like, for convenience sake, let's just say it's Sunday. So it would basically be Monday, which is the first day listed here. Um... Which mean that sword would be what type it is. Then on Tuesday, spear is the training that's available. On Wednesday, it's hammer. On Thursday, it's gun. On Friday, and remember this is in J Japanese Standard Time, so uh, according to the day there. So like for example, for me, rod, as listed here, which is in available on Fridays in Japan time will be available basically on Thursdays, well, from 8 a.m. on to 8 a.m. Friday, um, for me. And so on Saturdays, quote-unquote, um, again, depends on your time zone, um, uh, sword, hammer, and gun are all available, all of that training is available, and then on Sundays, spear and broad are both available. <laughs> again, all good. So, like, Again, for new players, you actually have plenty of ways of getting uh, gems right off the bat. So, I definitely recommend that, and I'll probably, after getting a little bit farther in this account, if I find something that's uh, relevant, I will definitely make a video on that. So, see you guys next time!